Everyone knows how to properly use a whisk, right? Wrong. Today we'll figure out the best technique and explain why it works. In the test kitchen we've noticed that different cooks use a whisk in different ways. Some prefer side to side strokes, others use a circular stirring motion, and others like the looping action of beating which is often used for eggs. This got us wondering, is any of these techniques any more effective than the others? We compared stirring, beating, and side to side motions in three core applications. Emulsifying vinaigrette, whipping cream, and whipping egg whites. To limit variability, we made all of our strokes in time with a metronome. We timed how long the dressing stayed emulsified, which is a measure of how thoroughly the oil and vinegar were whisked together, and we timed how long it took us to whip cream and egg whites to stiff peaks. In all cases, side to side whisking was highly effective. It kept the vinaigrette, which was made of just oil and vinegar, fully emulsified for 15 minutes. And it quickly whipped cream to stiff peaks in four minutes and egg whites to stiff peaks in five. Stirring was a flop across the board. It never fully emulsified the dressing, which remained thin and separated, and it took more than twice as long as side to side whisking to whip cream and egg whites. Beating really fared no better than stirring for emulsifying, and whipping cream dragged on for about eight minutes. Beating was really effective at one task though, and that was whipping egg whites. We got stiff peaks in record time, about four minutes. So why does side-to-side -side whisking work so well? The reason is that this action causes more sheer force to be applied to the liquid. Simply put, sheer force is the force applied to one layer of the liquid that then exerts a force on subsequent layers. The result is disruption of the liquid. As the whisk moves in one direction across the bowl, the liquid starts to move with it. But then the whisk is dragged in the opposite direction exerting force against the rest of the liquid still moving toward it. Because stirring and beating take the liquid in the same direction of the whisk, they produce less shear force. In vinaigrette, the greater shear force of side to side whisking helps break oil into tinier droplets that stay suspended in vinegar, keeping the dressing emulsified longer. To create stiff peaks in cream and egg whites, shear force is also important. As the tines are dragged through each liquid, they create channels that trap air. The stronger shear force creates channels quickly so that the cream and whites gain volume rapidly. The stronger shear force is also better at keeping each type of foam stable. In cream, shear force disrupts the proteins surrounding the fat molecules, which frees them up to form a protective coating around the air bubbles. In egg whites, shear force performs a similar function. It unfolds proteins that then create a protective film around the bubbles. In whipping egg whites, however, beating held a slight advantage even over side to side strokes. Why? Because the egg whites are very viscous, much more of them will cling to the tines than the cream, even at the beginning of whipping. This allows the whisk to create wider channels that trap more air. In the case of egg whites, this effect is more important than sheer force in creating volume. So here's the bottom line. Side to side whisking will give you great results regardless of the application. When it comes to egg whites, you'll save a bit of time by switching to looping. And stirring? Leave that to your wooden spoon. This is the science of good cooking.